right. Hey, huge thank you to iFurnish for setting us up with a new set. Adrian yeah. from Rapo Basin got here and you, you were like, wait, you got new, you got new There's art. New, new everything. <laughs> it's really nice. I love the pictures that are behind me. Yeah. It's um, super cool. You know, we occasionally talk about skiing and snowboarding yeah, around here. Yeah, every now and then. So, yeah. <laughs> so, speaking of, uh, you're yeah. from Arapahoe Basin here to tell the good folks at home everything that's going on over yes. there. One of my favorite places to go ski and ride at. And we were looking at some webcam footage. There's snow mm -hmm. going on there it's right awesome. now. Yeah. yeah, I love the forecast for this week. You know, um, only about an inch and a half reported last night so just a little bit it was snowing pretty hard but uh yeah let's hope the wind stays favorable and yeah bring it on in and yeah set down sure. some base so in addition there's a lot of really cool events going on mm -hmm. we've been talking about january you guys have safety weekend this weekend yeah right? so we're doing our nsaa safety village this weekend on saturday and sunday it's from 10 to 1 um and it's not just a kids event it's a little there's something for everyone at this um, we'll have our Avi dogs there, um, usually around 10, 30, 11. So be on the lookout for those guys both days. We'll have cupcakes for people who know the code. Um, the skier responsibility code is kind of a big deal with the NSAA. So we're helping educate people about that and giving them sweet treats if they right, get it so right. So they have to recite <laughs> it? I've never heard of this you code need before. To know. So it's seven. I guess that's bad. <laughs> yeah, well, it's okay. So there's, you probably know a lot of it just okay. from years of being on the mountain. So it's seven um, steps that you can take to be a safer skier or rider. Okay. So for instance, and this is gonna sound maybe really simple, but for people who are new to the sport, um, knowing how to load and unload lifts properly. Yep. That's the major way to keep all four of you upright when you get on and off. Um, another thing, making sure that you prevent runaway equipment, um, making sure that you're yielding to uh, uphill traffic when you merge. I'm just you know? thinking of all the times I've broken those rules. <laughs> it's just flashbacks. No, I'm like cupcakes for you. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, that will help with my New Year's resolution to eat yes. less sugar. But I do yeah. want to come pet the dog. So, so totally, it's, it'll it's be a really cool. Super cool event. Also, um, Centura's Think First program will be there, uh, giving out helmets for a suggested donation. Um, also promoting helmet safety and uh, Summit Search and Rescue is coming by too. So hopefully, this is the only time in the winter that you see them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. So really cool event. And like you're saying, yeah. it's not just for kids. And I see that on the hill all the time too, yeah. like adult uh, beginner skier and riders and things like that. And it's not, you know, demeaning or anything. It's because this is very important. You want to prevent those, totally. those and you, incidents. You know, also people who are more advanced and, and intermediate, you get a sense of confidence and you know um, that you can ski at a, or ride at a certain ability level, but sometimes you forget that they're slow zones and they're there for a reason or, um, you know, just keeping yourself in check. And I think it's just a good way to evaluate, you know, your own manner that you ski and ride and uh, making sure it's the safest uh, on the mountain. Right. Yeah. So check out Arapaho Basin. And so speaking of kind of being in that beginner zone, mm -hmm. you were talking about uh, learning to ski and ride and you guys have some great yes. lessons and things like that. Yeah. It's also learn to ski month, learn to ski and snowboard month. I'm sorry. I don't want our snowboarders I know. to feel I'm learning neglected. to snowboard this yes. month. That's my thing. That's I'm awesome. excited to get out there after this. Yeah. See, that's so cool. There's um, opportunities for both kids and adults to learn to ski or ride at a basin. Um, kids, we are putting together a lesson package that's valid Sunday through Friday. So every day but our kids club Saturdays and it's a hundred bucks for a, a lesson to get them going, a lesson and a lift ticket. Only a hundred bucks for um, a lesson and a lift ticket? For kids, yeah. yeah and, I that's mean, a great deal. It's incredible and it's something, you know, sign up online, you can give us a call, learn more about it. And we didn't forget about adults either. Um, one of the most, I think, difficult things about being new at something is getting to the location and not knowing oh my God, I have to rent gear, I have to get a lift ticket, I'm supposed to take a lesson. So we're making it really easy. We've bundled the rental, the lift ticket, and the lesson together for 125 for all of our beginner yeah. adult skiers or oh, riders. Oh, that's great too. That's and as an adult, that's something you don't want to you don't want to have to mess with all the fine details. You just want it in a yeah. bundle, and it's easier. <laughs> and to get get in, get your stuff all in one location in the rental shop, and get out on the hill. That's because that's why you're up here is to go play. Right. Yes. <laughs> okay, guys, definitely go check out Arapahoe Basin. So uh, you guys have some great terrain open as well, yeah. working on all of that. So where can people get all this information, show up for these events, book their tickets and all of that? Uh, for everything you need for Arapahoe Basin, just go to our website, arapahoebasin.com. All right. Super simple, <laughs> you guys. Definitely check it out. All right. Well, thanks for coming on. Thank Adrian. you. Yeah. Go enjoy the snow. You're going to go out excited. there I'm yeah, excited. Yeah. I might, I might go check out a little bit of our 
our new terrain today. Oh yeah. If it's open, if patrol gets that open, I might go go play. You guys should check it out. Limited openings in the Beavers. Ooh, that's a, that's a sneak peek of what's happening <laughs> in Arapahoe Basin today. All right, check it out, and we're gonna be back with more after this break, you guys.